Hi, folks. This is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report. Okay, I'm going to give you a name of something that I think you'll, you won't forget, and that is chapstick. Okay, so what am I talking about? Chapstick. Yeah, it's cold and we might want to keep our lips protected. That's not what I'm talking about. I was talking to my buddy Rocky, Rocky Rockwell, who is an Army Green Beret, who is one of the most knowledgeable people I know of on not just fishing, but on everything. And Rocky's a guide on the Salmon River, and we we're talking about right now the problems that you would have with trying to fish with this frigid cold and using a spinning rod on the river like this trying to catch steelhead. Well, your, your guides ice up immediately because you're throwing the line goes out, and then you're bringing it in with all that water that's ready to freeze with the air. And Rocky says, what I have found is by putting chapstick, chapstick on either the guides or the, it would have to be the guides, then they don't freeze up and freeze into your line and then your line doesn't move. And this has been a problem I've had since a kid in going out in April and fishing trout and on those days when it's in the 30s and having my line freeze up. And you used to have to take the rod and suck on the guides to suck the ice out of it. That's what we used to do. So this is a fantastic tip for all of us that are fishing with where we're fishing and we're reeling the line back in, whether it's ice fishing or whatever we're doing, is if we get some chapstick and put it on the guides, maybe it'll help us to be able to do this in a much easier manner. I think this is a fabulous tip and it's one I won't soon forget. Now, like Rocky's talking about the Salmon River and fishing for steelhead, most of you listening probably don't do that, but it's not that far away, and these fish are incredible and all that. He said that most of the good fishing now is uh, in the fly zone because the lower parts of the river are full of slush, and you just can't do it. But he said even up there, what he uses is his fly rod, and with he said you get so you do the same drift every time. So you don't need to bring that line in through the guides with a fly rod. You just drift it down, you raise the rod back, and you put it back out on the water and do it again and again. So it's much easier if you're fishing these streams right now in the winter in using a fly rod with fly line than it is spinning rod with that line because with a spinning rod, you got to reel the line in each time and then cast it out again. So chapstick, fly rods, uh, I'm, I'm making this as simple as I possibly can, but I think this is a fabulous tip. Until next time, folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report.